good afternoon aditya sir it is very nice to have you on the show uh, you are a practicing uh, attorney uh, would you like to introduce yourself uh, good afternoon uh, i am basically working in uh, delhi high court uh, and we do work in chandigarh alabad also right. so initially we started with income tax cases income tax appellate tribunal dirt and all but due to covid protocols and everything so Uh, these things stopped for one year, one and a half year. We do a filing and we get a listing dates of three years, four years. So we switched to criminal. Yeah. So it was a need of R, and uh, currently we are having around hundred and fifty cases. Yeah. So we are working in Gurugram. We are working in Delhi, all district courts, and we have uh, in rather worked in Jharkhand also, Yamuna Nagar also. So we are just working pan India currently. Right. Hey. so criminal law is such an interesting field i am sure everyone in the audience would like to know your role as a criminal lawyer and day to day experience actually criminal law is not basically you have to find a client you uh, finding a civil case and uh, making your client agree to hire you to take your services is a very difficult task right suppose you are having a property dispute with someone so you will come to me you will take my opinions you will go to someone else you will take his opinion then a third one then a fourth one then you will be confused then some of your relatives will decide for you that what is the good one who is the better right. one and all but when you enter into criminal law so there are three fields if uh, first possibility is your client is already in judicial custody or your client is in police custody right so if he is in police custody so he is not having that many options to run around so his phone is seized he is behind the bars so he has to follow up with you so if he is in judicial custody so he is already inside so his relatives are or finding you if they get your reference suppose uh, actually my one client was in uh, haryana jail bonsi so mm. when we got him out so his barrack members four to five seven members so they also told their families so their families are now approaching us so the feeder comes directly from the jail right. and they had also as now also so one just one person who is inside can get you through 10 12 15 20 cases so you don't need a feeder in this mm. and second thing the best thing in criminal law is that uh, you are active right before the charge sheet is filed you have to make hundreds of visits to the police station that today search report is not there today this is not there today dusty notice was served and this person is running around some relatives you have to get their anticipatory right. bails superdari applications are to be made to discharge the vehicle it is interesting yeah like in civil cases you are having a procedure that okay someone is there now let's move forward and in these cases are very hmm. entertaining and every case is different yeah. <laughs> so we are just here for that so there is this maxim uh, innocent until proven guilty right but uh, in our country it is guilty until proven innocent so uh, we judge uh, quickly that uh, if this person is accused of a crime so he must already be guilty so when you approach your clients or when a criminal lawyer approaches his client so what is his state of mind does he have a bias that uh, he has committed the crime or uh, does he take uh, non ethical yeah this is a very good question for kids who have just either started with law career or a person who is not practicing law hmm. but suppose when a person he is practicing law i have to be with a mindset right. with a professional mindset that the person whom i am going to represent that person is my client and yeah. i have to do everything in my uh, capabilities to get him out as soon as possible from this situation that is why i mean if i am not confident that whether he has done it or it is immaterial for me yeah. because it is a truly professional relationship so over here i the, just wanted to quote a case uh, a case on which i have been working uh, there is a person so he was accused of trespass he was accused of uh, attempt to rape he was accused of kidnapping he was accused of theft all this in one fir 
and there are eight sections and out of which three are in heinous crimes heinous crimes means seven years or more right they're non bailable so and on the i know this person from last 10 12 15 years i mean a person gets accused of raping someone else's maid in front of his wife and his mother in law which is humanly impossible i know a guy he is uh, 84 years old and uh, he is being he was accused of posco for a 3 year old girl protection of children not, from sexual uh, yeah prevention sex. yeah. so he was of 3 and that is his great granddaughter and this was done by his uh, the girl wanted a car and this person refused so that's how the things went bad and now is inside and this person is not even medically capable enough mm. at the age of 34 so i have known many people i have seen many people there are many people who are inside who need our help legally 8 8 months 10 10 months people are inside in india i don't know whether most of your listeners know and have been through all this but once you get a fir with you so police has a time to file a charge so 60 days 90 days depending on situation and sections but till that time around 90% cases people don't get bailed because charge sheet is not yet filed and matter is under investigation trial will commence trial is a very separate thing but matter you if you are coming out so you can uh, temper the witnesses the investigation will be biased and also you have to stay inside so once a person gets accused of something for 90 days he is for it is first 90 days is very hard for him so even if you are innocent hmm. even if you are innocent so you end up spending too much time inside and this is for all the areas in fact even if you go for the hard if you go in up it is very hard 6 to 7 months 8 months people are just inside so once we approach our client so we have to we get 5 to 10 minutes right. suppose it is the first meet first time my client is going inside mm-hmm. so i have to you have to get a lower without the uh, this uh, strings and uh, all you have to get the shoes without laces hmm. so specs you if the client is wearing you have to deliver it to him first hmm. so because otherwise each client is having a ut number so client hmm. you can only transfer 8000 rupees to the client so from that he can take the food from the canteen if he wants anything coffee shawl or a bed, bed uh, pillow or anything from the hmm. canteen he has to survive in that 8000 only so we have to inform our clients these things first because mm-hmm. even if, if our client is going inside so how will he eat so we have to add our numbers in the diaries so that he can call us otherwise from the jail std he cannot call us so you cannot upgrade it so mm-hmm. the, there are many many small small things which a person who is sitting outside is not uh, thinking but at that time when my client is going inside i have to inform him everything hmm. okay bhaiya you have to be there he is the person he is also our client you can go there you can meet him life will be a bit easy canteen hours are this from 10 to 6 you will be outside advocate can meet you any time after 4 pm so your relatives can meet you like there is a thing called rashi uh, alphabets so when you go to a jail so suppose okay. your name starts with a so a is having 3 to 4 days b is having one day because number of prisoners according to the number of prisoners so days are divided suppose a person can meet on first second and 10th mm-hmm. so in 3 days only his relatives can meet him if a person names with n so on 14th and 28th so in these two days only a person can go and meet mm-hmm. it is alphabet so we have to these all things we have to inform the clients so and those 10 15 minutes we generally don't talk about the case because we know that what is going to happen we inform them these things so mm-hmm. that is how it has been but media trials also take this i am in a into a case which is in media trial right now mm-hmm. so how I do you deal with that 
pressure phone calls excessive pressures we have to go through all this it is a part of life but the reputation of the person is already down when he is imprisoned and the media uh, right reputation out. when the person is already behind bars hmm. he is not able to see his video i have seen a case where a government employee was accused of uh, rape hmm. but his name was not in the fir only there were four to five other people whose name was there but his, he just got uh, engaged hmm. my uh, a person said that i went i went to mr x officer hmm. and mr x was not available on his seat so four to five other people met me over there and they, after that this happened this happened this happened so this was the statement of the guy so but media a very renowned media house that uh, took this person's photo from the website put it on the news 10:30 to 11 and accused him of rape and all so his family life was disturbed for 7 to 8 years his uh, daughter did not get married and all so this thing happened and after that he won unconditional apology from the media house he mm. got a handsome amount of money for defamation by this media house so media is also not 100% right about all the things it is only something that you hear and it happens but everyone is innocent these things are not so easy because every time you have a new fact suppose i am in uh, like you have you must have heard about this bombay taj attacks mm. and uh, this uh, 2611 On a terrorist attack, a person was uh, Mr. Kasab was there. So right. it took years and years of judiciary to see that. So the, if that those kind of persons also get trial, they deserve trial. Constitution gives them the right. So these things with these kind of people, three there are many sections like three zero four B dowry death. A girl dies. So due to her own depression or whatever the case may be, but entire family of the boy is behind bars. So these kind of uh, the lady who was the mother of the boy, so she is like seventy eight or eighty, and she is behind bars. So she is innocent, but section is like that. So you have to go according to the section. Mm. You cannot be innocent over there. She has not done anything. She she had not met him. i got these kind of cases also if you go through all these things so life will be very different for so speaking of sections uh, like uh, ipc indian penal code that was written during the time of britishers in 1860 it is still going now and uh, there are so many laws that have become obsolete like uh, marital rape uh, is allowed and then 377 was there uh, so uh what do you think uh, should be the changes like attempt to suicide if you attempt suicide you will be jailed so all these things uh, are still there so what do you think should be the changes made actually if you these are the things which are in books hmm I, these are the things in books but when you go to impl- uh, use these things when hmm. you see this in the practical world NDPS Punjab land grabbing Haryana property dispute Delhi check bounds Delhi state wise most of the cases are already divided diversified where you get the majority from it like motor vehicles act you crush a person and after that you get a bail because it is bailable hmm. so these things these things need change but we are not the people who can bring the change we are the people who can only interpret what is written in the book right it is suppose for rape if i feel that a person who is doing rape shall be sentenced to one year maximum or i say that he shall be sentenced to a minimum of 30 years but it is only what i say it is no but Uh, how does it implement like these sections which you are talking about right now so mm. these sections do 
don't get used too much. Like suppose, I will give you example. Ke, uh, it is written in a state. Medical of a woman is not necessary to start the trial of rape. Even her statement in front of the STM or the commissioner is enough. कि मेरे साथ एक गंदी हरकत करने की कोशिश करे। She does not even use need to use the word rape. She can say गंदी हरकत। गंदी हरकत can be anything. आंख मारना इस गंदी हरकत। Rape की कोशिश करना कपड़े फाड़ना इस गंदी हरकत। Anything is गंदी हरकत। Even if the girl says कि मेरे साथ गंदी हरकत की कोशिश करे। So it is enough to start a trial with 376 without MLC. Hmm. I am having a case of 376 where MLC is not there. Girl has refused to do the MLC. Clear cut. And 376 read with 50511. Uh, Basically, my client, one client is charged with 376 and 511. So, but if you combine and you read these two sections, hmm. so this becomes a proper case of 354. उसके साथ बाल पकड़े घसीटा कमरे तक ले गया गंदी हरकत करने की कोशिश करी सो दिस इज व्हाट मोलेस्टेशन दिस इज नॉट अटेम्प्ट टू रेप टेक्निकली दिस इज 354 बट इफ यू डिवाइड इट यू कैन मेक टू आउट ऑफ इट बट इजंट द रीजन बिहाइंड दिस की लड़की बोले एंड कोर्ट सुन ले ताकि वुमन को एंपावरमेंट मिले ताकि even in that area, his CDR location in the charge sheet, call tracking location, which is given by the police only, in the charge sheet shows that he's in a mall along with the CCTV footage. So after 10 months, he was said, ke, go home. So is he compensated for the time he spent without evidence? Compensated his own wife had filed a divorce case on him. No, I mean, uh, like for like and an apology. The, families, the families which suffer these things, yeah, these families change with, with a mentality for very very long time. I mean, uh, I had a case uh, in 2013, January 13. So that was the peak time of Nirabha case. Everyone was with having candles and all. So a known person of uh, our with our family was a he he's a very well settled person. So he when he's having his own institutions, factories, and all, very rich person and very settled, educated, reputed person. Hmm. So he was uh, accused that he tried to do rape of a girl who was even smaller than his own daughter. He was at that time looking for a possible match for her, his daughter. So hmm. at that time, he got accused. So the, the, at that time, all the courts in India, no one was given bail in these 370s because of all, all these things were, were which happened. So that person had stayed behind bars for around two and a half years. After two and a half years, it was said that at the time when this incident had occurred, he was making phone calls. So either he was on phone or either he was committing this crime. And that girl who had accused him of this thing, that girl was getting a handsome amount of money per month from someone. And that girl's phone records also showed that she was talking to someone. And that someone is also connected to a political party. So this was a totally politically motivated case. So, but it took two and a half years. So if now that person comes outside and if has a defamation suit on this girl or he finds a criminal case against this girl, so what is the worth of this girl? Can she repay it? Can the 
reputation of the institutions factories be built again so it is impossible so criminal law you have to take your emotions outside mm. because most of the people who are inside are said to be once they come out so they will again do this do the same act this is a perception but how many people are inside who have not done anything if you try to see that that is also a perception mm. so a person was carrying 22 guns last month he was caught he is out on bail within 15 days illegal 15 days he is out a person was driving a bike one was sitting behind him and one was sitting third one was sitting behind him first one was driving second one shot two bullet wounds one to the chest one to the abdominal area third one lifted up the bag all went away so they went to a property where seven other people were sitting after that uh, police came arrested so arrested all of them in the identification in the statement the person who was shot said that ki i can identify who did this but once he was taken to jail he was unable to identify that who did this and that person got away after around one one and a half years so judge and the courts they are just sitting they are waiting they are waiting for the evidence there are tremendous paper, amount of efforts energy and too many documents but none of them is worth to decide that whether this person has done it or he is not done it so you are, if you are getting the documents correct if you are having things in your hand so that is the way you can only use it otherwise you cannot say that the courts have done this you have done this i have done this and it is taking too much time because the procedures are misused mm-hmm. one day the advocate first day first day advocate is not coming he is sending his client directly jana vakil sahab aaj nahi aayegi bar on the next day he is filing a fresh wakalat nama technical issue actually what i was saying hmm. uh, the advocate on does not appear on the first date second date he is he appears he is giving a fresh wakalat nama now the third date will take place so, and these three dates are not one day two day one hmm. and a half month then again two months so the person who is sitting for relief he has to wait for three three and a half months to see that whether this trial will start or not start so there is a section 3912 that ex parte stay shall be granted interim relief shall be granted but these applications also take months and months to argue so when you are in court you cannot say that i went there so t- tomorrow the next day the very next day nothing happens nothing happens in the police station also so fast mm. so you you have to adjust you have to whatever happens and has happened you cannot be too emotional that many people are acting like this so i have been through all this and we have seen this anything next koi anything you want to ask yeah uh, sorry uh, when you see a client who is accused of a heinous crime Or do you have any anxiety or apprehensions if he is my client so i cannot have anxiety hmm. if the victim is not known to me hmm. how can i have any apprehension it is just a new file a new case a new number so for us characters change characters are names hmm. like you see on netflix hmm. when you see series suppose you are seeing a web series when you switch to the next episode what happens in the next episode one or two new characters are introduced but the story line is so if there is a heinous crime has taken place in one property 
बाय मिस्टर एक्स तो सीनियर्स क्राइम हैज टेकन प्लेस इन थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी बाय मिस्टर वाई इन फिफ्थ प्रॉपर्टी बाय मिस्टर जेड क्राइम इज सेम सेक्शन इज सेम रूल इज सेम लॉ इज सेम एविडेंस इज सेम सो बिकॉज इन सम केसेस आर टेलर मेड अपर had uh, did a murder and the weapon is also there uh, everything is available trial can be commenced very easily he was arrested from the scene of crime he has also given uh, his uh, statement where motive is also clearly evident so most of the time everything is done but still charge sheet takes 40 days 50 days trial will start after Lottery, two months, three months. Testing right. takes time. So, anxiety. First day you are having anxiety. He is going inside. Second day you are having anxiety. Mm-hmm. You will go there. You will take clothes with you to give him. You will try to meet him. Try to talk to him. Wait for his calls. That will happen one day. The second day. The third day. But after a week, you will be sitting like, "Hanji, क्या हाल है?" And he is calling from jail yesterday. Anxiety is gone. Hmm. Inside, I want to go out. निकालो मुझे यहाँ से. फंस गया. After a month, when in morning, 10 a.m., they are kept or they are told to go out of the barrack. So there, there are two. Either you can work or you can. switch your duty with some other person so you can pay him also like 5 rupees 10 rupees people take and they do your job so then 10 to 6 they are outside and after 6 they are again locked in their barracks so that is how the so 10 am he comes out of the barrack now he's sitting outside watching sun doing some farming so and what next day he is again doing the same thing the The anxiety will go away. Right. Right. What are the so ethical you, obligations of a lawyer? Ethical obligations, yeah. like not to disclose the name of your client, not right. to tell any facts about any case. Hmm. Whatever discussion I have with my client is strictly confidential to me. So and anything when uh, like you are in Tehar, so over there you get a room. Right. You are right in front of you is your client. You can physically see him, meet him, touch him, and hello, direct. But in like if you go to Dasna, so you are having a grill. So too much distance is there. So you are yelling, they are yelling, and all. in bonsi they are having proper glass windows with bars mm. so you are having he is having intercom there mm. so there are sheds so you are talking hello getting mm. behind them right and me but they cannot use the information what he has just passed on to me against him mm. i the information which i have got against him right i cannot take the cases from both the parties mm mm-hmm. like, there will be a conflict mm. i cannot in the same office same premises with the other advocate right. who is the like suppose me and my partner both take cases one is from plaintiff and one is for the defendant mm. so that will unethical people do waste date do to take time because we are all instructed by the clients Uh, suppose you have uh, in civil suppose you have uh, f- uh, taken 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs from someone and you are right. accused check bounce yeah. you are you are accused of a check bounce mm. so you try to delay the trial on the other hand if i have want my money back i will be standing on every date first hour i will be expecting that today i will be getting my money only itself mm. so, on the other hand you are accused in a check bounce case let's suppose you are fighting for a property dispute hmm. and you are getting something out of it you will be standing but the other person who has to give it he will not be there so basically judiciary is having two ends 
two sides. They have to listen to both. And one of the party is wrong. It is very rare when both the parties feel like they're right. Even though they don't say it, but they know it. So generally, like in family courts, both feel that we are right. They are fighting. Mm. Fighting in front of us. So, but in this criminal law, one is either the dead body cannot speak. Mm. So <laughs> public prosecutor is over there. Right. State is this is so criminal is comparatively faster mm. than civil. Much, much faster. Mm. So lawyer generally does not have too many obligations with anyone, no personal attachment with anyone and never take a case of someone who is very emotionally connected to you or you are connected to him. Otherwise, you will end up making too many mistakes in the trial. Because in a bail application, you get only three to four minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You cannot stand over there for four to five hours. Mm keep on telling, tell everything to the judge and no one is interested to listen. So how much to speak, where to stop? Right. Coming back to uh, Kasab, uh, you know, uh, like I am a law student, so I know uh, what, why he was given trial, but a lot of uh, people come and ask (laughs) that uh, there was video footage, he shot right in front of witnesses why he was given the courtesy of a trial, why was it so prolonged? So what uh, do you, do you have an opinion on that? There are two things over here. First thing is once he shot someone after that trial began, like after four months, five months. Right. So first four five months, he was in police custody only. Police was gathering information from him along with various other government departments. So judiciary does not have anything to do with that period. Once his trial started, mm-hmm. after that, advocate said that he is a minor. So he cannot be tried under all this. Then it took another one year to prove that he is not a minor by taking his dental scans and all. So they took it that he was 21, 22 years at that time when he acted it. After that, the trial started. So now you are that video footage. Cannot, can a video footage be edited? What is the authenticity of a video footage? Nothing. Right. So it is not a primary evidence. Video footage is telephonic conversations. A person who is standing over there and he's saying that he has done it in front of me. I am a witness. So, and there are multiple witnesses. So that thing brings in authenticity. So what is the procedure when a witness says something after that judge listens to it, then perhaps advocate will have the right to cross. Right. Cross from the witness. So suppose one witness said that Mr. Kasab was standing in a boat and he was firing. Second one says he was standing in a bus and firing. Third one says he was standing on a train and firing. So these are the contradiction and Mr. Kasab can get out. So when you are having a witness and when you are getting a witness, so you have to prepare the witness very thoroughly. Mm. So you so you can imagine that how much work Mr. our government had done at that time, preparing the witnesses, teaching them everything, all to small details. So mm. all this was done. This took approximately seven, uh, six to seven months mm. max. And there were around 150 witnesses. Hmm. This trial was done on daily basis. Hmm. On a special court, daily basis it was taking place. So you cannot blame the judiciary for this. And once they did it, so they gave him a death sentence. Right. And plus, uh, judiciary ka symbol we have blindfolded and, uh, you know, you have to see the evidence, you can't just rely on uh, media or public opinion. A judge cannot take a case in which he or she is personally involved. Right. So when like you were saying it was taking too much time, so he was uh, given, he shall be hanged till death. So in hmm. 90 days, so he appealed on the 89th day. 
then again the listing took place mm-hmm. and the, the case with too many defects so then the defects will be given to them then they will rectify and then they will file again then again defect then rectify then file so this will take four to five months six months they prolong the trial right after that in high court on some days they didn't go after filing the application today the advocate is not available please give us an next date so it is not that government did not do anything or judiciary is not doing anything if you want to delay the trial you can easily delay the trial because they give you ample res- opportunity to represent yourself you cannot say that i was not given the opportunity of representing myself no one can take that okay the question which you second part was what you asked right now Uh, I was asking uh, the symbol of judiciary is also a blindfolded woman, right? Uh, this attitude uh, involve uh, that a judge cannot take his own family members' cases, right. anything of himself. Yeah. Like actually, uh, I was having a case in which a person was killed by seven people in a uh, market. got daylight it, this was the case in bombay so bombay high court they gave a to be hunted death for three seven people were there four were uh, i think given life sentence and three were given death sentence hmm. three years and death sentence for three so we were, we had to file a slp in supreme court so coincidentally the judge who had given the order got elevated and promoted and he was in judge in supreme court Coincidentally, the SLP also landed on his bench. Oh. So technically, it was the same judge who gave us sentence down there, right. and now he's he's listing the thing again. So we had to file application to re to requisite the right. judge had to requisite, you know, because he's a party in this. Right. Who may because uh, and after that the it was stated that this is a mistake of filing. Filing should have taken care of it. So then it matter what she to the other judge. So like you must have also heard in Ayodhya Ram Mandir case, hmm. the one judge was earlier the member advocate for the Hindu side. Hmm. He he was an advocate. He was practicing at that time when the case started. He was young, fifteen twenty years. He got he, he went to the judiciary. Now he's sitting as a judge over there, and now he's hearing the same matter. which he used to argue sometimes right. so when the muslim side told about this thing that he is the person who was arguing earlier so he had to re- requisite himself hmm. that he cannot the judiciary is like you cannot decide something when you are already biased right one so last the- question uh, i want to ask because it's already been 40 minutes right it uh, the nirbhaya case the aftermath of nirbhaya case some laws were amended criminal law amendment act right so do you think that it has any benefit or contribution to the society today in terms of legality and safety for women uh basically these things right. have these things have just been uh, they are trying to plug in the loopholes right and till date they are trying to plug in the loopholes so you like the case about which you are talking so mm-hmm. one person below 18 years at that time like a month or two mm-hmm. months 17 years 10 months 11 months was the age right. at that time right so that person got a sentence of 3 years mm. and others were hanged mm. or if this person would have done the same act after 3 months he so what would have happened to him mm-hmm. but at that time it was decided that any minor cannot be done this you have to go to the juvenile center correction right. center and all these things but after that amendments are now taking place now a person who is 0 to 6 years so he cannot be here Now seven to twelve. What is the mental age? 
after 12 to 18 now what is the nature of crime according to that so laws are amended hmm. laws are amended that if a minor now who is 16 years or 17 years he kills someone so he cannot just walk out very hmm. easily which he can, he can, if he rapes someone, so he cannot get out very easily. These are the loopholes which are plugged by this act. Mm-hmm. On the safety of women, so things happen. Things continue to happen. Mm-hmm. And 90% of the cases, the person who has committed this crime is known to the world. Because it is 1% chance that you don't know someone and you rape someone. Because only known person is in that kind of thing and in 90 percent cases the women don't report which i have felt in a long period of time because of family pressure social pressure image girls don't go to the are not comfortable in complaining even though their identity is confidential i have many friends uh, you know they tell me stories of their uh, childhood or you know in the teenage only relatives the uh, servant so chupa dete family and it's a very sad thing actually people think that it is a part of life let's live with that right. why to discuss it and create problems for ourselves we will be mm. government says that their identity will not be disclosed like in uh, hma cases in the act cases even mm. if you go to the court write the case number you cannot see the name of the party you cannot see any order right yeah that so, that is something that uh, women should be aware of that uh, they, uh, uh, their, uh, you know you are better to tell yeah the accused versus the state right so it is even in the case title the name of the girl is not there hmm. so your identity it is a very wrong practice your identity is always uh, t- taken to the well you have to go to the court you have to say it in front of five people ten people twenty people but right. we all hear this every day like if you say okay, i cannot open my clothes in front of a doctor so i cannot go to a court and say what happened to me so these things need a mentality change and then for the for the society as a whole i am not saying about any religion caste or age or education for the society as a whole this should be done right. and and next thing is according to me what you have asked is safety of women any law any act any rule it cannot ensure the safety of women hmm. law Acts and rules, they take place once everything is done. Like suppose you are sitting over here, you shoot someone. After that only trial of murder will start against you. Hmm. You are pointing a gun to someone. That is a separate thing. But a trial of murder cannot be started right now. Because all the laws in India are not future oriented. Hmm. That this can be done this thing would be done so i cannot you cannot be accused of a rape when you have haven't done it and you will be doing it like tomorrow or the next week hmm. your woman is not for today it is for future it is a future oriented issue hmm. so once you are having some acts or something it is it is just a mentality of a person you don't rape someone who you don't know. It is very rare. Very, very rare. 3 to 5% cases. And I don't want to say anything about anyone, but I have seen approximately 20 to 25 cases which are fake. Fake rape cases. MLC is not there. Person was not there. Still, he got out after 6 months, 8 months, 10 months. Trial started. Judge did not take the cognizance of the section. He straight. I have a, a very interesting thing for you. Like you have just initiated this topic. Yeah. There was a boy in 2013, uh, 13 or 14, 2013, he met a girl. So the boy is of a different religion, girl is of a different religion. So they were from the same school at that time. They went to the college, different colleges. They used to meet. 
so they were having relationships mm. and you know, of every type so at that age people mm. do don't so girl's family also knew about it so after that 5 6 years the girl had different interest mm. with some different so that thing happened between these two and they broke up after 6 to 7 years after that uh, this girl came back to him talk to him and the next day a case was filed with 354a 354d 506 509 so stalking he is stalking someone whom he was knowing from 10 years and the person whom is he is stalking is in his home like you are coming to my home and i am stalking you i am molest modesty of a woman i am and the girl he she is having multiple affairs with someone she was in a relationship with him they broke off and after that this happened so and uh, she had filed this fir in 2019 today it is 20 the boy is on bail like from 2 to 2 and a half years and still uh, he is he has to go on every day to every trial and the girl has never even come to the court ever she would have even forgot that what was filed by her i think rape is a very serious issue but at the same time there should also be a check that the evidence is correct right evidence is you are mixing up two things evidence checking is not work of the police the police has to gather everything make a report give it to the public prosecutor hmm. public prosecutor that report sees it that whether it is okay or not if he feels it's not okay he gives he gives it back to the police please correct it once that all the things take place then trial will start once the trial will start it is 4 months 5 months 6 months after 6 months first time a judge is sitting in front of you then he ask ha huh, yes please tell me what happened but 6 months so that is the misery right. which everyone has and uh, rape cases and all he even if i touch you that is also considered as a rape you are not having a mlc you just gave a statement that is also a rape so I, i tried i dragged you with your hair so that is attempt to rape so 375 376 they are having very 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 thin line what is attempt so tearing someone clothes is attempt no dragging her with her hair is attempt i don't think so no but why not and what is the 10 years Seven years. Isn't it also a good thing uh, to prevent, uh, you know, hooligans? Uh, you know, I was in mall with my ex-girlfriend, and uh, some men came and touched her, and she did not even tell me because she said, uh, uh, "You will fight; they will beat you." Because oh, UP mein mentality to ASI. So, I think a balance. Other, if we, these kind of rules don't take place, so rapists and criminals, if they feel that after doing these kind of crimes, they will get a bail with one month, two months, so you will find them right in front of your door. If I get to know that if I kill a person and I will be out on bail within fifteen days, twenty days, or a month, hmm. so it's okay for me. Why not? जो होगा देख लेंगे. But on the other hand, if you see. that uh, you don't get a bail very easily you yeah. have to stay in so you so that is a safety for the citizens or right. other people but on the other hand there are some people who are inside who have not done anything but they also have to go through the same procedure right so you cannot regret for them and on the other hand you have to be happy for the person who are very complicated done issue. very complicated issue and like you have said that the girl they will beat you they will fight you you will go to the police station you will be in the heat of the moment you will call your friends they will call their friends after that once everything is done by you one day two day three day anger emotion 
he did this, I did that, sleepless nights. Fifth day, what will happen? There will be a paper with a stamp. All emotions will be gone by then. So, trial. Then you have to go to the court. Then you have to go to the police station. So, you will be working. You will be... What will you do? And with your girlfriend. So, she will have to tell everything with her, to her family. Where were you? With whom you were there? And if she is comfortable, then it's okay. If his, her family is not comfortable, then why will she be creating such a scene? So, you have to think about multiple scenarios. Right. And family will also not be supportive. Yeah. Because in Noida, you said, so in Surajpur court, it is 27 kilometers from your uh, university. 27 kilometers, almost Greater Noida. So the girl will be going to Greater Noida on every date to tell that someone had touched her sometime, six years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. So girl will say, I will be, get, be getting married. I don't want to create all this mess in front of the family in which I am getting married. So just let it go. I so think this, a so we should discuss further, right? Now the length has ended. Uh, we can't upload further than that. But definitely we have to speak a lot more. It is a very complicated issue. So sir, it was really nice to have you. We'll definitely sure. do this. This issue itself. Please take sure. care.